Hey, I'm Andy. I'm John. We are communitygum.com here with a 2012 Allen and Ginter baseball box. Uh, you know the drill. Weird stuff awaits inside this box. Not as weird as this kitchen knife we're using to open it. Um, it's what all the professionals use. <laughs> uh, three relics and or autos per an oversized cigar style box uh, with that little flappy flap there and the giant cabinet card. And this one, there yep. are lots of different box toppers. I'll open this while you yeah. prep that, John. There's the N43s, which are smaller. Those are the cabinet styles, which are either baseball highlights or uh, roller coasters is this year's other theme. One, two, the best part about these giant cabinet cards, impossible to mail. Yeah. And we got a David Price, Derek Jeter. Uh, commemorating his 3,000th hit, which was a home run off of David Price. So I'm sure David Price is glad to be a part of that baseball card. Oh yeah. I can't wait for the Steve Traxel, Mark McGuire. Maybe it's on the checklist. Did you check? I haven't checked. It could, it could very well be. Embarrassing moments in baseball history brought to you by Ellen and Ginter. That's actually not a bad idea. It right. should. Tops, we know you're reading our blog. We know you're listening. Um, all kinds of stuff going on in here. One mini per pack. I got a Bryant Gumbel card. That's the first one I'm going to show. So that's, that's a, a Greg Gumbel, by the way. Is it? Oh. Yeah. I, I mean, it's just says Gumbel on the front. I don't know the difference between the Gumbel brothers. Don't forget to check your mini bags. Oh, yeah, they're all different and weird. All kinds of different inserts going on. How about uh, historical turning points? This is the first flight at Kitty Hawk. Uh, obviously, very much a turning point in history. I got the Battle of Waterloo, mm. also a turning point. Here's a black bordered mini for Brandon Bosch. Uh, you can see the border basically just extends along the edges and is completely black, I guess. Here's a Nolan Ryan. How about Nolan Ryan? He's a short print in the Astros uniform. People like him. Everybody likes him. Paul Henry Canerco in the What's in a Name um, subset, I guess it's an insert set, uh, a huge one, and uh, talks about what their name is. And I've got our first relic. All right. Um, which is not not good. Okay. It's a Johnny Peralta of the Tigers relic. Probably better relics to have here. That is a really cool. The black border is pretty killer, though. I don't know who this guy is. Looks really nice. I love shaking these around. Probably should shake it edge. Who is this guy? Tim Federowitz. For the Dodgers, he's a catcher. I don't know who he is, but he's a rookie. So, whatever that mean, might mean. Here's the Kerry Wood card. I'll show this one also oh. for John. I just got the mini of him. He got this. Oh, did you show it too? No. Oh, yeah, well, look, let's like show him side to side. Bing! And it's an A&G bag. A&G bag. So that's that'll be something cool. that I will buy from us. Um, here is the. Oh man, I've got a couple winners here. Um, so baseball highlight sketches. The problem with these that I had this is Carlton Fisk making a throw here. The problem I have with these sketches is it's actually kind of difficult to tell them apart from the regular pictures because mm -hmm. the regular pictures are so like affected. Mm -hmm. And I've got John's favorite uh, mini insert yes. set, the uh, world's best friend or man's best friend insert set, and this is the Yorkshire Terrier. And I got the pug. Terriers are my favorite breed. Look, Look that up on YouTube. <laughs> I also got a Verlander sketch card. Uh, Got lit up at the All-Star game. Didn't watch it. Don't care. Did not watch it either, but I heard it got lit up. I was too busy doing actual things that mattered. Billy Ray Butler, what's in a name? Does it mention Country Breakfast? No, it doesn't. What's the point? Then forget it. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> um, here's my mini in this one. This is Colin Montgomery, who is golfer. a golfer. Mm -hmm. Scotsman. We got Kirk Herbstreet mini. College football analyst. Not even going to show him. Uh, Roger Federer, there's a champion. How about Wimbledon champion? He's got um, he's got an auto in this set that is going nuts. Oh, yeah, he does not have very many autographs overall. And if you want a good one, this is a good one to get if we can find it. Red Sox back in the pack. That's an Ortiz. How about Regular another back mini and a Pedroia. What's in a name? How about another autograph that is going nuts? Kate Upton. Don't get the appeal, to be honest. Not my thing. He doesn't like pretty girls. Is what he's no, saying. I mean she's pretty and all, but like, not my thing. Here's uh, an insert set we haven't shown yet. World's tallest buildings. This is the MetLife building in New York, New York. Um, those are cool if you're into those like exist. 
buildings and stuff. Yeah. Kyle Farnsworth is apparently <laughs> still playing baseball. And here is a uh, an ad card for the uh, the Ginter Code. And knowing the Ginter Code, this ad card is printed on real stock. So I have a theory that it's involved somehow. Not, not just a I have a promo. theory. I have a theory that it is cheaper to produce it in the standard stock as opposed to changing up things. That's Our four holes. Card number one. Uh, the Renaissance, sure, that's a historical turning point. I'll buy that. And a uh, King Felix uh, Mini. Arnold Palmer. Not just a drink. He's got um, an ins he's got a relic and an auto, I believe. I think he does. Here's one of the actual code cards. How about we show this and give a, a free... Free hint. Free hint to everybody. Uh, so it's a murder mystery this time around. And so you get clues like this where, you know, you either get a per person, place, or thing, you have to follow some people on Twitter, and on the back of the code cards is a section of the newspaper that you have to assemble. I hear there are 50 different cards in the code set, so uh, freeze your video frame right there and <laughs> get the other 49. Probably should have warned you to do that. Oh, yeah. No, uh, they, can, they can rewind. Jesus Montero, AMG <laughs> back mini. Um, pretty good one to get. Um, rookie. Ricky Henderson is in this set. Yeah, all kinds of great legends. This is, this is a really good checklist overall. How, cool. about, how about this? Culinary Curiosities Mini. Uh, this one is Haggis from the United Kingdom. I'll buy that. That is a curiosity. Will you buy it for 13 pounds? Because that's the price on the listed on the front of that card. Um, Dan Ugla is our second relic in the box. We expect one autograph, probably. Maybe not. Maybe not. I just got whatever hit is is in here. Well, we're gonna find Al out. Alan Sir Jr. Now that's like a man's man picture right there. <laughs> he looks more like a man. I'm sorry. That's Alan Sir Senior. <sighs> God, get him straight. Oh. Always get those two confused. Oh my goodness. All right, so we did get a third relic, but first I'm gonna show off another insert that we have not shown off before. Musical ma uh, I almost said mascots. Musical masters, Franz Schubert. Right there. Wow. Musical yeah. mascots. Here's the. Uh, Here's the other relic of David Ortiz. Just hit 400 home runs? Oh, really? I think that's the milestone you just hit. Good for him. Here's a, uh, another murder mystery card with a dossier on it and uh, part of the newspaper in the yeah. back. And then a black bordered mini of James Brown, the analyst, not the, not uh, the singer. Not the singer. <laughs> but the black bordered ones are like two or three a box or something. and. Uh, just makes it harder to get a regular old mini, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. um, I wish they'd do away with them, to be honest. But all you James Brown commentator player collectors, boy, you're set. You got, all right. you got yourself a rainbow. Ready, ready your pause fingers, everyone. Ready your pause fingers. Another sneak peek at the code. And here's the newspaper. We are not a part of the code, no. just so everybody knows. Um, no. We have not been paid by Tops to promote the code. But still follow us on Twitter regardless, <laughs> at Community Gum. Uh, here's another mini set, Giants of the Deep, Beluga Whale. Beluga. Is that part of the code, how you pronounce it there? No, that's part of a song. Um, since John has a whole other pack, I'm going to show two cards in this. One right. of which, a card that John is going to want. It is indeed. Tony Gwynn. Uh, not a short print, but I a legend. Did not know he was and a great that. old Padre. John is a Tony Gwynn player collector. I am. And then a, our final baseball highlight sketch, or at least mine, uh, is Tom Seaver of the New York Mets. Looking a little weird. A little weird. Remember when there was a whole set that looked like this and it was called uh, Chickle. National Chickle? Mm -hmm. So that's they, it. At least they give credit to the artist on the back. That's true. Um, but yeah, that's basically how Gintry is. It's a nice mix of baseball players and champions from other areas of life. You know, you or got not champion relics, or just people, just people, just dudes and uh, ladies, and all kinds of like crazy little mini inserts that have nothing to do with baseball, but pay homage to the tobacco set that this spawned from. Um, very solid product all around. I think the checklist overall is better with the inclusion of all those legends. Can't complain. No. Um, so yeah, it's a short printed set. The last 50 cards of it are short printed, and yep. which makes it a hard one to complete. Master set buyers. But short prints are one and two packs, so it's a little bit easier than others. Right. Anyway, very popular set. If you see anything you like here, or follow us on Twitter and anything we're posting there, it's all going to be for sale. We're opening a whole case on our own, so uh, make sure to take a look and let us know if uh, there's anything you want or are looking for. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.